I'm John Bedell, New Center 7. For some people celebrating Mardi Gras today was more important than their own birthday. We stopped by Ashley's Pastry Shop in Oakwood where workers were busy making punch keys and king cakes. Mardi Gras is a day of tradition of eating up and getting rid of inventory before Lent. It dates back to ancient times when the Polish bakeries throughout the area needed to clear their stock and inventory of their extra shortening and margarine and butter and fillings. That stuff sure looks good. <laughs> Anna says she loves being able to make themed pastries for her customers. <laughs> and Troy Andrews' nickname is Trombone Shorty. He's a big hit at Mardi Gras and started playing when he was a toddler. Look at this. At four years old, he played at a New Orleans Jazz Fest. He also collaborated with Stevie Wonder, Usher, and Dave Matthews Band. Without New Orleans, I wouldn't be here. And I really mean that with my whole heart. You're still chasing something. You, you don't feel like you've reached perfection yet. You, no. You're still reaching for something. I'm still reaching for something. I'm always practicing. I'm always trying to get better. And... It doesn't matter if we go out there and play in front of 5,000 people or wherever it may be, or 200 people. I always play as if these people don't know who I am. Got the talent, doesn't he? Andrew's passion for inclusion inspired him to create the Trombone Shorty Foundation to support the next generation of musicians. New tonight, a Huber Heights business is celebrating its grand opening this weekend with a party. Dogtown Huber Heights is opening its doors Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., so people can take a tour of its new building on Grant Pike. The business offers a number of services, including pet boarding, daycare, and grooming. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. Now we got some, uh, we got some wind coming tomorrow, mm -hmm. you said. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of do. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's going to be worse than it was today, or at least mm -hmm. there's going to be more of it. Yes, that's right. Tomorrow we are going to be looking at some gusty winds returning to the area. Even higher wind gusts expected on Thursday, and that's coming in with that storm system I told you about uh, 10 minutes ago or so, about that snow that is going to be falling in western and northwestern parts of the United States. We are on the warm side of this system, and with the winds, we will bring in the warmth. Wind advisory issued by the Weather Service goes into effect at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, right on through 1 o'clock in the morning, late tomorrow night into early Thursday, in areas along and south of I-70. Just because you're not under the advisory in our northern parts of our viewing area does not mean it's not going to be windy tomorrow. In fact, I expect that we will see this wind advisory expanded northward for Thursday, as everyone is going to get in on some of the windy weather. Satellite and radar right now shows a little bit of some light snow to our north, but I'll tell you what, I looked at the surface observations. There's a lot of dry air in the surface, so even if a snowflake is falling from the cloud, it's evaporating before it gets to the ground. Temperatures have fallen into the 30s north. They will start to climb now as winds are shifting out of the south, and you can see the rain and the moisture feeding up from Missouri into Illinois and southwestern Indiana. Future cast will show the cloud cover filling in and then the rain is here before you get up early tomorrow morning. Widespread rain by 3 a.m. We get to, to about daybreak. Heavy rain, even a few rumbles of thunder. It's going to be one of those mornings that you wish you could sleep in just a little bit longer. It's going to be dark outside with that heavy rain and rumbles. We'll see that rain and a few thunderstorms lifting to the north. Still some scattered showers around at midday. Then a little break in the activity. This is actually the warm front pushing northward. Perhaps even some late day sunshine may break out. Then the cold front comes in and we get that next round of heavy rain and a few thunderstorms. No threat for severe weather, but we'll get some gusty winds with a few of those storms that come through. Speaking of the winds, you'll see by tomorrow afternoon a 35 to 40 mile an hour wind gust. Not out of the question. Best chance across the south. That's where that advisory is set up. Then Thursday, widespread stronger winds, 45, even a 50 mile an hour wind gust perhaps Wednesday afternoon, and why I expect we'll see that wind advisory expanded across the entire area for our Thursday. With those stronger wind gusts, isolated to a few power outages will be possible, isolated tomorrow, maybe a few more on Thursday. Then we're also going to be dealing with that gusty winds and rain causing issues for you on the roadways. So tomorrow we'll see hazardous travel in the morning, and then a little bit better for the afternoon as that rain pushes away. Thursday with that gusty winds, 
SUVs, tractor trailers, they're going to feel the brunt of those winds. We move toward the weekend. We see temperatures climbing to the 30s and 40s, and then the chance for rain returns early next week. McCall, thank you. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin both talked about the war in Ukraine today, but 